Hey, it's Aaron from Arclight, and what we're going to do today is work with our Auto Tracer. The Auto Tracer is a quick, easy way to input templates into your CNC plasma cutting system. Now, I've got a complex part here that I need to recreate. This is an engine stand for a motorcycle twin engine. What we're going to do here is we're going to trace this pattern so we can easily input this into the CNC plasma cutter. We're going to utilize our Auto Tracer as well as some white poster board and a Sharpie to input this in. So my first step here is to lay our part out on a clean piece of white poster board. I'm then going to trace that part using a nice new Sharpie. That's going to allow me to get a really high contrast image onto this poster board that we're going to be able to trace in with our auto tracer. I could try to trace the part itself. However, this is aluminum and it's very reflective and that could cause issues with how the auto tracer picks up the image. So in order to get a successful trace, tracing it in Sharpie, so we have high contrast between the Sharpie pen and the white piece of paper. I've done my bolt holes, as well as my clearance holes, now I'm going to do the outline. I got it nice and tight to make sure we get an accurate trace. Okay, so our next step is to put our template down on the table. I've put it down on a piece of steel to keep it from getting wet. After we do that, we're going to remove the torch and replace it with the auto tracer assembly, just like this. Now I'm going to plug the auto tracer into the USB port in the computer. Now that the auto tracer is installed and connected, we can go ahead and get it set up and ready to trace. So at this point I have driven the auto tracer down close to my material and I want to get it about three quarters of an inch up off of the material so that I get a nice accurate trace. I'm going to do that by homing Z. And then zeroing the Z and raising it up to three quarters of an inch. So now that we've used Command CNC to place our torch three quarters of an inch above the image that we're going to scan in, we're going to launch the Scanny Thing program and we're going to utilize the edge following technology to trace in our template. Now you can see the scanning thing has uh, brought the image up onto the screen, but it's a little bit out of focus. I'm going to utilize the focus knob here. There we go, we've got a nice sharp image. From here you can see how the cursor is snapped to the edge of the line. Now all we got to do is hit run. Okay, so we've successfully traced in each of our bolt holes, as well as our clearance holes, and the perimeter edge. This should give us a full DXF image of what we've traced. So now that we have saved our DXF file of the trace that we created, we can import it directly into SheetCam and just blast it out as is, or we can take it into the CAD program and modify it as needed.
Okay, so now that we've got our machine all set up to cut, we've got our torch installed, we've got our steel on the table, and we're ready to go ahead and run our file. Here's our two plasma cut panels, accurately recreated from the original engine stand. Perfect fit. Thanks for watching our Auto Tracer video. I hope this gave you a good idea of how you can utilize the Auto Tracer in your shop to save you time and make you more money.